Yo, what is up guys? It is me, the Cubing Bear, and today we have another Let's Play of Spotlight Room Escape. This is episode 4. If you guys already didn't know, Spotlight Room Escape is a series that I do. Uh, we're on Season 1, Episode 4. Um, if you guys don't already know, we basically just go around solving these room escape mysteries. And uh, we left off on Episode 3 where we actually went inside through a room. We had to go through a room again after getting out of the elevator. And we found out something pretty interesting about the Witch Doctor. And uh, it gets pretty interesting, pretty lively pretty quickly and it's very interesting to me so we're going to continue on doing this part of the video which is episode four if you guys already haven't check out the other episodes in the card above so let's get started all right so we are starting off with the so we're starting off with level four which is fate and would you look at that we're already starting off with things have my trusty notebook would you look at that we already have something very interesting so let's um Let's keep looking here. Oh, okay. I guess that works out. Gotta keep grabbing random things. Can I hit this? Okay. I don't know. I broke the glass, I guess. I don't really know what else they wanted from me. There's a box down there. Got that. Glass, 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 glass. Nothing. Nope. No glass. Okay, we have glass. Nice. Okay, so I guess we were able to get that out of there. Um, looks like we need a door. Okay, so what the heck was that? What is this? No, no more codes, please. I'm done with codes. I already had enough of those. Oh, man. So from this code, I was able to get some duct tape. And it appears we have a little latch. There's something on the log. Yeah, I know. Maybe I can pry it open with a stick. With the stick. Okay. Did I really have to lose this? <gasps> there's a key! Oh my god! You guys, there's a key! I can get out! I can't get it. There's gotta be a way. Uh. Hmm. Maybe I can use the duct tape on the rope. Okay. So I did that. Using my amazing analytical skills, I was able to create this conversion tool. I got the keys, and we already know what the keys are for, right? It's for here. Boom. Yes. What is that blue paper? Can I grab it? Okay. What is this? A piece a piece of what? It looks like a, a tablecloth of some sort. I'm not sure what it is, what it does, guys. Mm -hmm, I don't know. Right now, we're just trying to get through this very easily. Oh. I have another piece to the puzzle that we are trying to look for here. It appears I have that with me. Yeah, okay. I do not ever want to see a toilet paper. I guess it must smell horrible in here too. I am I'm not the plumber. I'm not the plumber. Speaking of plumber, I actually need to find a way. There's a plunge tool. Do I have... Maybe I can put the plunge with the stick. Plunge with this. Okay. This I will use on that. Nice. So, can I? Is there anything that came out? Oh. Ah. So by plunging it, I got a key. I don't know what the key opens. Uh, maybe it opens here. Oh. What other place uses keys like that? Maybe over here. Could it be here somewhere. Doesn't look like it. That's weird. Obviously, there's no key for that in there. Huh, what are, what are they, here? I got the key, maybe. Oh look, a little ranch thing. This goes in here, obviously. And there's only one, I think there was a toilet with, yeah. So I got the ring, what is this? Component. This looks like one of the rings from the, it looks like the ring from the, um, from here. I guess this goes here. Oh, this is... No, I don't want to deal with that right now. There's going to be some more stuff that I'm missing from here, right? Nope. What is this? A pager. 
I found a new item. <sighs> this is the only thing that's bothering me right now. I do not feel like dealing with these codes at all. Oh no, I don't want to deal with codes all day, people. don't really understand I don't I don't know what is this supposed to be let me look at this okay so we have two dials here and we have okay there's two dials right there is there two dials here yeah there's two there and two there so I guess it's kind of like follow the maze where we're supposed to create a maze where this point where these lines will touch each other so we have to find a way to get them to touch each other hmm I'm just gonna try out random combinations because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! Oh my god. Whatever. Excellent. We have uncovered the code, and it looks like we have some weird thing. Uh, okay, obviously these go here. Bing. Okay. This is all making sense to me. This is all making sense. Let's explore. Let's grab items. Can I grab pawns? Can I grab pans, pats, all that good stuff? I found a key and I found a mug. Can I grab a pan? Can I grab a pot? Get something up here in the corner. We're just going to keep grabbing as many things as we can, guys, because we want to beat the level. We don't want to stall for anything mischievous. Grab these. I don't know why we need a pan. What is that? A pan or a pawn? Oh, yes. This is great. I'm getting so many items. This is great. Feels like the more items I get, the more harder mission is going to be based on that. This will open this door. This will open this door. I just said it would open that door. Oh, I found that. What is that? A block of ice? A block of ice. Could I pull it out and heat it up in this stove place? Maybe this could use the key. Oh, okay. I don't know what goes in there. But let's let's uncover this. <laughs> what can I do? Oh! So this is a similar concept to the game called Infinity Loop. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like um it's like this where um you have different circles with lines on them. They can move around every 45 degrees. And you basically move them around so that they connect on every point. So, um, yeah, probably be a clip somewhere showing that. But, yeah, it's a pretty interesting game. And I guess now we're just going to try to do this. I played them before, and they're pretty easy. And this is, like, an easy one, too. Thank God. If it was difficult, I would have quit the game automatically. Because, yeah, I do not like solving difficult things. You already know who it is, Silent Hill. What is going on right now? No, watch me whip. Watch me nae nae. Whip, whip, nae nae. Okay. I think I'm almost done with the code or whatever I need to do. To be able to solve a code like this. And there we go. Something happened. I got another key, guys. That's what's up. Getting keys is what I'm all about. I'm all about the key. I'm the key maker. 
I'm not the key maker. I don't know what to do with this. This will not work. This key will go in here. Oh my god. So if it's not going to go in there, then the key has to go in here. Oh, look, there's another key. I didn't even know that. There's another key. Yes. Give me codes. What is this? Profit. 7049. Profit. I don't, I don't know. A four-digit code. Huh. What if, what if the number that's here, 049, 049, can go right here. Set of four nine zero four zero seven four nine zero seven four nine zero seven four nine. Did it work? Nothing happened. Did I get the number wrong? Zero seven four nine. Oh, seven zero four nine. <laughs> I'm dumb. So seven zero four nine seven. There we go. That's how we do it, people. Buttons. Buttons. Yeah. They kind of look like those ones, so maybe I can put them here. What can I put in there? A cup. What do you want? A key? What do you want me to do? Oh, I got a brick. I'll put the brick in here. No. I don't know what to do with the brick, guys. We'll solve that mystery later. Right now, I want to see if this key can open this door. And it can. I'll grab the gas. I don't know what else is in here. Oh, cool. I can turn on the lights. <laughs> I can turn on the lights, guys. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, scissors. What am I going to do with it? I can cut the ice with that. Maybe. Probably. Can I cut the ice? Hello? No. Oh, well. <laughs> hmm. Why, why did that open, though? It's what's... That's what's bothering me is that that opened and I don't know why. That's weird. It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to open, but it doesn't want to open. So what am I doing wrong? Well, what if I put the brick in here? I guess. I guess so. Awesome. Nice. Okay, so what am I going to do with that? What is this? A chisel. You can use chisels to do ice carvings. So, let's see if that'll work. Oh, yeah. Look at that block of ice. Look at that block of ice. And the gas goes in there. Yes, 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 yes. Everything is going according to plan. And put the pot in there. Put the pot in there. Put this in there. No, put this down here. Put this in there. Can I grab the pot? Put the ice in there. Put the ice in there. Doesn't want to go in. It's because there's no heat. That's why I need to find heat. Maybe the heat is in here. I have to find a way to get in there. Somehow. I need to put a card. I need to find a card. We need to find a wallet. Or some kind of thing that has a card in it. Mm, I don't know where guys I don't know where the card is to be honest with you could be in here I haven't been able to open this thing it has a triangle in it what is this triangle oh. <laughs> wow okay can I grab this there's no pressure to the hole okay but can I grab it I need it I need to cut it off. Alright, I need those tubes. You already know what the tube is for. Boom, now we got gasoline. 
We have fire. We can put this in here. Ooh, animation. And I believe that I found oh, <laughs> rock tools, bro. Get those rocking tools. Let's see. Mickey shoes. MasterCard. I have the MasterCard, guys. You already know. You need something? I got you with the MasterCard. Okay. First person to write down this number will be able to get something. And the code is 0453. Good luck. All right. Mm. Obviously, the card will go in here. Boom. I'm 98% there, guys. I need to. All I need to do is input this key, and I guess that's the end of the level. But how are we gonna do that? What is the? What is so interesting about this? One, two, three, four, five. I need a six-digit code. Profit. 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 Oh man, I'm confused again. Oh no. This isn't good. What is this? Oh. Okay, well, we're gonna pull out the book right now. It looks like, uh. So it kinda looks like that this could be the key. This looks like it's gonna be the key to, to getting us out of here. Let's see. Um, we have 12, 16, 26. So 12, 16, 26. That should be the code right there. Let's do that. And uh, we'll be on our way. Twelve, sixteen, twenty-six. 12, 16, 26. No way. 12, 16, 26? Yeah. What the heck? Oh, come on, man. No way. 12, 16, 26. That's the answer. Mm. <sighs> okay. Well, 12, 26, 12. The circles are there to throw us off, I guess. No. That's wrong. Mm, July 20th, 2003. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July is on the it's the eighth month. So zero eight two thousand and sixteen. So it would be zero eight two so zero eight two zero zero six should be the answer. If not then there's something else that I'm missing. Zero eight two zero zero six. No. Clear that. Clear it. Clear it. Zero eight two zero zero six. Zero eight two zero zero six. Boom. <sighs> okay, that's wrong too. That is wrong, apparently. To my sources, that is incorrect. Okay, Marilyn twenty three, Brian thirty four, forty seven. Forty seven, twenty three, thirty four. Let's see. 47. 23 so Marilyn's 23 Brian 34 years old so 34 banquet 47 persons Merlene 23 Brian well, four. maybe maybe if I count the letters in these words and multiply them add them put them in order <laughs> I don't know guys I don't know what the password is I wish the card had told me something the code has to be here somewhere. Let's try 47, 23, 34. 47, 23, 34. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, there's no way, guys. We, this, this whole level's been going smoothly except for this part. Come on. Let me think. Let me think. Okay. July 2013. Marlene, 27. Brian, 37 years old. So that's his birthday, July 16th, 2003. Okay, so what if it's telling me that on July, which is the 7th, on the 16th, he was born, so I need to find the year he was born then. So 2003 minus 34 would be 13, 10, 9, 10, 9, 1. 1969 1969 that's when he should be born so so he was born on, on July 16th 69 so 071669 that should be the answer if my calculations are correct 071669 Yes! That's the answer. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Let's see this. Oh, the room turned green. Wow. Oh. Where am I going? Dude, no, don't close the door. Oh my god, no! What? What is that? But yeah, this is interesting. Okay. So that was weird. Okay. So I'm having a theory right now, guys. So it looks like the, um, that this thing, it's leading me underground, which I don't know why I would go underground, but I don't know. We started in the top floor of a room, made it to an apartment complex, through the apartment complex, we went through an air vent that went to an elevator down. So we keep going down. Once we made it down that elevator, we made it to another room ish. We went another, we went through another room, and that room we had to go through several different stages through the kitchen, into the vault, and go inside the vault. Where am I going, guys? Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going right now. And who am I? Why am I so important? Who's after me? All these questions, I don't know the answer to, but we'll figure them out soon. That was about it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for awesome weekly videos. And uh, yeah, hopefully we find the answer to this. Until then, it's Cuban Bear out.